All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. And another video. Yes, it's me again. Yeah, um, another video on window cleaning. I haven't filmed no garden stuff yet. So, I thought I'd answer a couple of questions what some of the viewers have asked me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> because obviously, they see me do this uh, reach and wash and traditional window cleaning. And obviously, they see my style of doing it. And everyone's got different styles. But uh, this one guy, Ozzy James Osland, I hope I uh, pronounce his name right. Here is uh, asked a simple question. He says, uh, he's going to start up window cleaning, but uh, he can't see the connections, you know, how, how I've connected up my um, on off switch. And um, I, my reply was, listen, I don't really want to make a video on this. Because if I make a video on this, you know, everyone's going to see how out of date I am. And um, because everybody uses a univalve, or most people that you see on um, YouTube, they use a univalve. Mine's like a, <laughs> mine's like a an off tap, you know what I mean? Turn it off. Just turn it one turn for off and turn it one turn for on. Now, I know when I put that out, the amount of stick I'm going to get. Oh, you're so out of date. Oh, you're not supposed to be using that. You're supposed to use a univac. You know, obviously, this comes from people, you know, who haven't been doing it for as long as me. But yet, they're telling me how to do it. You know, and I just, I just didn't want to hear the stick. You know something? From when I've started, people have seen me do my on-off and everything anyway. My on-off, turn it on, turn it off. You know what I mean? So, there's probably other people out there thinking, well, how is my uh, tap connected? So, this is me showing you, you know, how it turns on and turns off. You can actually see the speed of the water, how it's coming out. But that, that's how I do it. Now then, I've been doing it this way since 2008, from when I got into uh, reach and wash. And it's always worked for me. Now, that's my style of doing stuff. If it didn't work for me, well then, or if this didn't work, well then obviously people wouldn't pay me to clean their windows. You know, they say, oh, this is crap. You need to go and get a univalve. But my customers, they couldn't care if I got a univalve or a, 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 a enough tap, you know. You know, obviously I hear people talk, about, you know, I've even heard people say, because you know that I always get mocked about my pole anyway, you know. Oh, your pole's too heavy. Your pole looks like a banana, and all the other garbage you're gonna, <laughs> all the other garbage you're gonna put up with. But you know, people don't even know how light my pole is. A light pole. I've actually made a video about this before. You know, I think I put a, a end cars about that video about when I'm talking about my pole. Actually, I made two of them. Yeah, I made two videos of that. Yeah, uh, anyway, so this that's how that's my style of cleaning windows with my pole. You have made two videos on this pole business already, and I still get stick about it, but you know, I don't care. I'm just going to carry on doing it because it's worked for me since 2008. So that's just the way it goes. So that's that question, and then, uh, there's another question from, um, what is it? What is he? Dung Dipper Adventures. He says he's, uh, he's new to uh, traditional window cleaning. Well, he's watched loads of people on, uh, obviously, YouTube and all these different styles, what you see. But he's noticed something about my style, which he doesn't see other people do. You know, you know when I blade the glass? I blade the glass, let the water fall on the sill, and then he says, uh, other people will get something like a six inch blade and blade off the water off the sill. I don't do that. I blade the water off with the same blade I use, right, to actually clean the window. And that works for me. You know what I mean? 
And he's thinking, uh, well, surely your blade must be, uh, my rubber blade, must be all split up and bust up. And my response to that is, um, no, it isn't. Because I change my blade every month. And if it would split, if the blade is split, you can actually see it leaves lines on the glass. You know what I mean? When you're actually blading. So then you know, oh, I've got to change the blade. Actually, I don't change the blade straight away. I turn it around. You know what I mean? So it lasts even longer. And then after that, then I change the blade. Yeah, that's what I've been doing that for ages. That's just my style of doing it. You know, I don't even, it sounds, this sounds stupid. But you don't even realize what, how your style of window cleaning is until you put yourself on film and actually watch yourself. You know what I mean? Because my style is different to other people's styles. It's just the same as, you know, when um, I wear, I'm a bucket and a belt, I just wear one bucket, one bucket, and one mop, and one blade. Some people will have two buckets, right? Two mops and two and a couple of blades in their uh, pouch. And obviously they've got the cloths and whatever in the pouches. That's their style of doing it. You know what I mean? And they've got all that weight on them. After a while, they're going to realize uh, they're going to realize about that, you know, with how uh, it digs into your hips and all that. And over the years, you're going to know about it. <laughs> You do that for 20 years, you're going to see how that's, that's going to affect your hips. But you know, that's their style of doing it. My style is just with one bucket, one belt, one blade, and I've always done it that way. And I've, you know, I've been doing that since uh, for over 20 years. Sorry, for over 30 years. And uh, that's just my style, it's worked for me. Yeah. So hopefully I've answered uh, those couple of questions, you know, about uh, my style of window cleaning. So enough babbling on from me. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.